Now, you may notice a slight time discrepancy in that I believe last time we finished with about 15 hours on the clock. And to that I say, I haven't really done a lot of progress. I've just done a lot of off-screen farming, I swear. I did break down and decide to go get that moon pool because I figure, like, we spent so much time last stream with me fucking about trying to find the damn thing. I, I, I feel like we should just go ahead and get into the meat of, of, of getting into new progress today. Um, and also, uh, it's just been really soothing to mindlessly farm things up in Subnautica uh, in the evenings. Uh, it has just been real great. So I kind of just got a smattering of resources, especially like copper and lithium, because those have been the biggest pains in the ass to get. So hopefully we won't have to spend too much time farming uh, today. We can make some pretty solid progress. Um, so I remember we're trying to get down to, I think it was like a 700 meter. I can open up my... Um, double check my thing once we load in. Yep. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yep. Yep. That's a uh, that's a ship crash and all right. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Uh, that's uh, that's a thing. All right. All right. Lights are back on. So, I also cleared out all these data alerts because they were annoying me. Yes, I made bleach. Um, so it was alien data? No. It was codes and clues. So the 800 meter res research facility. So that was our biggest goal um, for us to head to. Um, and so I made the moon pole back at our, our spawn because, you know, that's where we built the the ship anyway um so i did a bit of farming you know just 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 a little bit you know just to make sure i'm prepared for um crafting you know just in case i need to make anything we're quite, quite, quite ready. At least with all the materials we have on hand. Um, I have noticed, uh, as I was making my our electronics, we have a battery problem. Um, and our best solution has been so far to just turn them into large power sources. But I feel like... There's got to be, because I mean, the 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 uh, the floating ship has like solar rechargeable batteries. Now I can't take those out. There's got to be some kind of thing that lets me uh, recharge those batteries or reuse them. I can't imagine we're blocked off. So that might just be another thing that I need to find the blueprints of. But let's go ahead and actually explore, because like there's that green cave down there. And we were able to swim down there in short bursts, but there's a lot of stuff down there I didn't have a chance to explore because our damn ship was stuck at like 200 meters. Now we can now we can actually drive down there, and hopefully that 800 meter facility is within reach. I feel like it's definitely going to be within reach. Um, I think that next one that we had hints of is like 1,200 meters. So I'm thinking the research facility is going to unlock like our next tier of tech. We'll probably get some more upgrades. Um, I feel like that's where the enameled glass might come in because like, do you mind? Um, the thing with deep sea vehicles is like, you see this giant glass orb? That's, that's not good. Uh, glass is like, the portholes and such on submersibles are the weakest point. Uh, so I feel like we'll need like some super strong glass if that's going to be our next depth upgrade. 
It made it so ban users can become a Yeah! I, I, I think that's been, I feel like that's been live for a second. Um, also, these fucking giant rocks. If I don't get a damn laser or drill so I can harvest those, I will be peeved. Because so many, like, copper has been such a pain in the ass to build up. But I haven't, I, I can't get into the giant copper things that I've come across. Ooh, an amoeboid. Crystalline sulfur. I feel like that's not good. This looks like, this looks like, I think I talked about it, like, on, on, when I first started playing, if there would be, like, the underwater water, so, like, the brine pools. So that's kind of sweet that we do have some. Um, have I scanned? Alright, that's ghost weed. I'm not seeing anything else new. Let's go ahead and keep going deeper. This is quite spooky. Oh! Oh! Sorry! Sorry! I'm driving here. Now, I know there is a Leviathan that patrols. Or we saw, like, our ghost Leviathan, I think it was called a ghost Leviathan. It got picked up on our scanner. But let's keep an eye out. Um, I also have changed the field of view a little bit. I think we were at 60. Uh, 90 felt like too much, but 75, I feel like, gives me a little bit better... It just feels better. A little bit more depth. All right, so there's, like, a down over there. Hmm. Ooh. Okay. Okay, brine pools hurt. Noted. That's kind of a pain in the dick. Alright, so I don't want to get too much sulf. Well, sulfur's new. We'll just grab, fill our inventory with a few. But I think we're we're fine on magnetite and lithium right now, so I'll just not worry about those. Um, that just curves around and goes back up. So I guess we're going down off this cliff. We get down. Going down, down, down into the dark, watery depths. What the fuck are those crabs doing? Whee! It's a brine waterfall, baby. <laughs> and that crab is just going for a drop. Oh, this, uh. The underwater vehicle always trying to right itself is a little nauseating. Have I scanned you? Yes, I have scanned that. Like, I've, sc I've, I've scanned some of these because they were in that other, like, far down location a long while ago um, when we had pipes to for the recovery vehicle. Huh. Those things are way in the brine. I'm wondering if I get a suit upgrade. Or if maybe I need to use the radiation suit. Wait, I'm in the radiation suit. Alright, so radiation suit. So they're not radioactive, but... Oh, hey. The temperature is really toasty here. I see. I feel like we will take damage if I get outside. Yes. That's table. Alright, so we can get table coral. Only 50% for one stream? Damn. It's dedicated. What is this? Ooh. Skeleton? Leviathan skeletal remains. Damn. And 
and it died in here? Interesting. Uh, ooh. Hold on. I think we found our entrance. That looks like alien light tech of some flavor. We're at about 800 meters. This has been the day you streamed about eight hours. Yeah, anything... Uh, the long streams definitely start taking it out of you. This alien structure appears to have collapsed to the sea floor. Uh-oh. Don't mind me just scanning this cable. Uh, where is an entrance? Is now going to be our next look see -do. Um. Detecting an alien broadcast. Linguistic analysis reads, caution, hazardous materials and life forms contained within. Oh. Oh, lovely. Ha hazardous materials and life forms. Oh, that's my favorite. Oh, that'd be fucked up if, like, this facility contained the virus and it breaking down is what released it. Like, they were doing... Because, you know, there's all sorts of microbes trapped in glaciers and things like that. So, I'm wondering if it's this situation where they're, like, studying these old, old rocks or whatnot, and then... You know, this facility breaks, falls down, and then things are released from containment. Hey, Kai! Yeah, the worm is swimming. Just, uh, we're just getting a little, it's a little wet. This is a bit of a, a bit of a water world. Alright, we always want to grab the delicious cubes. Interior walls in this section are substantially reinforced, indicating the designers were seeking either to keep something out or contain it within. Whatever their intention, it clearly failed. <laughs> it clearly failed. Damn, our AI, our AI is being pretty, being pretty sassy today. No! No! I fucking don't have my purple tablet. Why don't I have my purple tablet? I literally always keep a purple tablet. Did I put it? Oh, fuck me. Did I take it out of my inventory? Okay, hopefully we'll find a spare one. If not, we'll have to go back to base and grab a new one. But hey, Kai, I hope your Friday is going pretty well. Egg. Sea dragon egg. Interesting. Rays. Alright, alright, pretty neat. It's Friday, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Integrating new PDA data. All right, so we got a whole bunch of data. Um, ooh. Well, this thing looks like it was sealed. Remains of research specimen. It looks like a fucked up. It makes me think of like a biter, but even bigger. A leviathan biter ancestor, maybe? Wonder if there's anything else to scan in here. It's Brian on Friday. Man, I bet that sea dragon egg would make a hell of an omelet, you know? Imagine it's a little too big and uh, singular for, like, caviar, but as an omelet like an ostrich egg, I think. Residual biological evidence suggests indigenous life forms were brought to this location and subjected to intensive study. Warper parts? Ooh. Oh, are the warpers created? Self-warping quarantine enforcer unit. Oh, shit. That explains it being able to teleport. Um, I kind of figured being able to teleport wasn't something like naturally Data occurring. Data to the bacterium is being downloaded. Caution. Detecting atypical fluctuations in blood plasma proteins. A self-scan is strongly advised. 
Oh fuck. Self scan complete. Bacterial infection has spread to the skin and pulmonary system. Uh -oh. Medical report recorded to date to bank. It I don't is like imperative this. you find a way to neutralize the infection. Oh no! Oh no, I have the green dots! Oh uh, fuck! It's not good, man. It's not good. Wait, why did my character take off their gloves and then put them back on? Okay. Welcome aboard, Captain. Well, we're fucked. Um, let's go back to base and get a purple tablet because I want to check that research before we go further. Just so, like, I want to. Make sure we get everything out of this before we work on moving on. Um, that is interesting. Is this the way? I think this is the way out. I hope it's the way out or I'm going to be fucking lost. Considering the bacteria didn't advance until we hit like a story checkpoint. I don't think we're in danger of actually dying from it, so I don't think we're on an actual time limit. This isn't the way I came from at all. Is it? Um, that looks like a big thing in the distance. We're gonna go the other direction. No need to explore. When we got a perfectly good way out the other way, out the other way. Now we get some epic music. All right, this is some spooky fucking music. Blood and ashes. Ah! Let me alone. I'm just a worm. I'm just a little guy! You wouldn't hurt a little guy! Ah! Uh, where did I come in from? Was it over here? I feel like I was not from here. I feel like I'm just gonna go in a bit of a loop. And that's that. Well, fuck. Do I at least have a bacon? I did have a bacon. I could have dropped a bacon. Oh, there's the, there's that light pillar. All right, so I think this is our way out. We need a fucking purple tablet. The one time I don't have a purple tablet constantly in my inventory. Damn it, Drecky. Ah! Hey, Jazzy. Oh, welcome on by the lovely, lovely Gator themselves. Now I'm in your stream twice. Well, now it's once. <laughs> I hope you've been having a fantastic day. Uh, Ori is a really fun game, and I've kind of see, seeing you play it has kind of given me an itch to uh, uh, play. It. Ah! Aww, thanks for the recent subscription. And if y'all somehow got here uh, uh, from Jazia's stream and you're not already following them, let me make that easy for you. Um, you just click that button, and uh, and you'll follow the amazing Gitter for whenever uh, they get up to shenanigans. But hi, Jazia. Uh, you were going for a pretty long while, and I'm just getting started. So uh, you need to you need to take a minute, step away, you know, wiggle out some stretches, uh, uh, leave some piss, take some water, you know, whatever order you choose. You know, I'm not your keeper. You do you. <laughs> hey, Janather and Bush Crank. And Kasawa. Ah, Kasara, how did I miss you? Ah, you're, you're purple. I thought Whee! you were Kai still. Whee! 
<laughs> love my model. Yeah, it's the uh, it's the it's the the worm on a string. And since uh, since we're since we're all deep water, I figured uh, we'd go fishing today. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Captain. Alright, um... Put in miscellaneous. Just do a dump. We'll take... I can spin. Yes! I can spin! I can dance! Alright, well, I mean, it's, it's hard to see me dancing. I just kind of wiggle around, you know? <laughs> But I swear, my feet are tip a tapping. Uh, let's throw some fruit in the bioreactor while we're over here. Never mind, it's full. All right. Um, so let's get that dang tablet. And actually, we'll save. Jazzy, that is no problem. I, I, it's it's gonna be a, I'm not I'm not even gonna lie. This is gonna be a long Subnautica stream. Uh, I've been looking forward to Subnautica, and it this is this is my treat for surviving the week. <laughs> so this is this, is, this might be another eight hour stream on accident on purpose, but on accident. <laughs> Strength. Ah! Spin right round, right round like a string, baby, right round, round, round. I spin right round like a worm on a string, worm on a string, baby, right round, round, round. A stream as long as the string you're attached to. Exactly. I do think it'd be really fun to have like an actual Drecky worm on a string. Even if it's just like a one-off for myself, I think that'd be really fun. Problem is, I do not know many uh, physical crafts persons, and I know like one-off units, custom units are likely going to be extra pricey since it's you know custom, and also you know hand-done work takes takes time. And that time costs money. I don't even know. I mean, there, there's got to be some, like, basic custom worm on the string things. I don't know. Something I kind of casually look around now and then for. Ah, oh, yes. This board cube with all of its tentacles has sunk to the sea floor. Take that. So much for being a unified consciousness. All right. We just launch ourselves out of our ship. I also like how we can get out of our, in and out of our ship without it being flooded with water somehow. Integrating new PDA data. All right. Um, let's, let's check our ship. You know, we got all, we just got a whole bunch of stuff. Let's see what we got. Um, let's the anchor cable, fuck it. Um, the warping enforcer. This life form shows signs of heavy genetic modification and extensive mechanical grafting. Digestive and pulmonary systems have been replaced by an onboard battery receiving energy directly from the main grid and distributing it around the body. Miniaturized phase technology has been implanted beneath the skin and is triggered by the central nervous system allowing it to teleport at will. It has been digitally augmented. Interesting. Organic parts originating largely from off-world. So it's an alien alien. <laughs> Damage report. Leviathan detected at facility perimeter, closing in at high speed. Oh. 
Interesting. A Leviathan knocked it loose. Containment. Oh, okay, so they had Levi. Okay, so. Well. Hmm. So they took some Leviathan eggs. And it looks like one survived. And then the quarantine was put into effect. Oh, and the specimen must have been this Kara. Bacterial contagion named Kara. Routine network expansion of the outer worlds. Pandemic development. Uh oh, there's an error. Contagion was uploaded and spread through all the core worlds. Oh shit! That is a big number of billions to have been perished. Mutates basic cell structure. Core worlds are quarantined. Samples distributed to isolated research facilities for vaccine. Hmm. Leviathans do not have any immunity. Interesting. So peepers are not immune. Transmit enzymes to other specimens. Okay. Carnivore theta. Potential immunity, but insufficient. Python species. Sea Emperor. Get some potential for immunity. Single specimen captured for study. So that's the that's the, the sea dragon egg, I think, that we scanned. Or no, hold on. Oh, they captured a sea emperor. And okay. So that was the thing. That's probably the thing we're gonna find at the lower level. So that says 1.4 kilometers. Hmm. Well, it's unlikely the emperor still contained his I may be possible to acquire further day. Okay, so that is gonna be our next step for maybe finding. We say foreign bacteria on the PDA, what do you think? Uh, are you talking about um in the contagion profile? Foreign bacteria. Uh where contagion upload bacteria mechanisms. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, that seems a little weird because, I mean, they're on an alien planet, so that didn't really clock me as anything significant because, like, of course it's going to be foreign bacteria. It's, it's an alien planet. Um, but I feel like it's not, it's, like, not even native to this planet at all because... They were expanding to the outer worlds, and then after quarantining the core worlds, samples were sent to disease research facilities. So this planet was one of their research facilities for some fucking reason. I don't know why. Seems like a weird place to have a research facility. Uh, particularly dangerous, too. So they were using the creatures here to see if they can find an immunity. They found one leviathan... The Sea Emperor that m had potential. They captured one and it's at the lower facility. So, any more information is going to be down there. Um, yeah, salvage further, further research. Um, rays. I don't know why they picked out the rays specifically, but there's, there's, we've, we've encountered all of them. I love them. I love the little ray creatures. They're my favorite. Interesting. Hermetically sealed, chemically sterilized, without a means to house a fully grown sea dragon. Possible study the egg laying and incubation process. Hmm. Um, also... 
I feel like I'm missing logs. Because we got the Paul's log one, which was from the first camp, but we didn't... F and number one implies there's more. I kind of want to go and do another check of the facilities. I think when I first went to the one that's in the cave, the underwater cave, let's just clear out some of these while I'm blabbering. Uh, I didn't have as much oxygen tank, and I was kind of busy trying to not die to those damn jellyfish hanging from the uh, uh, things. I think we can go down and uh, act, do a more thorough search. I feel like I'm, I'm missing something. I've missed some things. Here's traits with the biter and sand shark. Okay, so I, I was kind of... Okay, I see the double eyes. Oh, and this... Okay, so this was the sea dragon. Ooh, did it actually have arms? I don't think it had arms. I think that was still a fin. But I feel like the fingers should be longer if it actually had... Well, I don't know. It's been a minute since I've looked at whale fins, because that's what I'm kind of thinking of. Massive physical trauma to the head. Collision with a solid object. I wonder if this is the dragon that knocked loose the research facility. Because we had a sea dragon egg. So I wonder if they took the egg and then Mama Sea Dragon came and gave it a big old headbutt. Um, crunching itself, but also, you know, knocking the facilities. Also, 1,000 years ago? Eggling stage of his life cycle. Yeah, I think it was. I think it was a mama. Interesting. Wait, a meboid is a scavenger. Interesting. So it feeds on fossilized organic matter. Hmm. All right. Clear out all these screaming yellow notifications. All right. I think we're good to continue. Um, let's see. I think we can try going out and see where that other path leads. I think it was this one. Ah! Durangar, how dare you? How dare you send me out like that? You mean to me. <laughs> How are you doing? It didn't yeet. What do you mean it didn't yeet? It absolutely yeeted me. Like that. Don't like that. Mmm, don't like that at all. It definitely yeeted me. Mmm, that's about my limit. Could be I'm blending in. Okay, where is this? Yeah, yeah, cue the spooky music. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, they're like stars. Oh, that's so beautiful. Unless you're talking about wanting to yourself be yeeted. Ooh, we get some... Creepy, distorted music. Ooh, another skeleton. And another one. Oh. Alright, so I guess it's not important enough for us to scan. Alright, I see how it is. Just kinda... Kinda keep on going. Ah. 
I would like to stop crashing, please. All right. Hey, cut that out. Oh, this is... I think it's night times. I don't know where the fuck I am. This is very dark. It looks like we can go up now. Um, where the fuck are we? So, SG-1... Over there. Let's just surface... And see where the fuck we are. Oh, we're by there. Okay. I think I have an idea. I don't like this wide open ocean, though. This is kind of terrifying. I would like to get to the surface. All right, so... We went east. We ended up east of our of C Lab. There's Stargate. Um. Yeah, let's let's check out the let's check out the the what was it the Degussie? Check out the Degussie uh, survivors. And just do another once over. I feel like I, I might have missed something on the island and then the other location they were in. I feel like I should have more more data. Let's see. So we need to go over here to get up on the land. I or do we want just do we just want to drive over to SG two? Um, I mean, because we have a base at SG one. Uh, well, you know what? We're, we're at like half power, so I need to recharge anyway. So let's head over. Because I, I, the moon pulls by our life, our escape pod. So I can just put my ship there. We can recharge. I can see if we, I can check the fabricator to see what tech we may now have. Um, I don't think we actually have anything new. Because usually when we have new stuff, the it shows up on blueprints. So now I'm kind of curious. Uh, I know there's a couple things that I still can't build. A um, couple, couple vehicles. I think I've noticed. Um, I think if 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 I need to set up another facility, we'll don't we'll want to set it up pretty far away from. Or usual because I like when I was looking for the moon pool I was kind of scanning pretty close to where we were where the uh, uh, pod was we already have the base we already have C lab so I could just make a second base at Stargate 2 maybe I don't know I also feel like there's a probably a bit more for me to explore in the Brine Cave. But I saw that Leviathan go back in, and I already snuck past it once. I don't want to have to do it again. I also need to double check where that second facility, because I know it said like 1400 meters down. But I, I could have sworn there was, like, something else it was talking about. 
as far as locating the area. He certainly haven't gone searching for like any continental shelves, so. Oh, might be getting close to having to check that out, so that's fine. That's great. Love that for me. Volcanic activity. Well, we did see a lot. We did have a lot of hot water in the uh, in one of those rooms. So I wonder if I should just poke around there. Uh, we'll take that med pack. Thank you. Fabricator. I mean, I can make a propulsion cannon, I guess. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing any new tech for us to make. All right. What are those things that I can't build yet? We have the Cyclops. Which looks like it might be the deep sea. Well, it still has like the giant glass thing. So I don't know. I mean, it has to be because my ship can't go down past 900 meters. It's still missing that. Oh, there is a battery charger. All right. So that would be nice to have. Because I just didn't bloody see it. Um, there's also this prawn. I don't think we have anything on yet, so that's cool. Um, where is... Stargate SG-2. Cool. Go ahead and repair our... C. Actually, can I rename the damn thing? I'm getting tired of too many things being named C. Ooh, we can. Um... Rename it Manta Ray. And you know what? Let's make it... Let's give it a... Give it a light blue color. What is this stripe? Ah. Warning. Emergency power only. Yeah, Warning. yeah. Emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. Okay, dude. Power restored. All primary systems. Yeah, are yeah, yeah. Power restored. Um, it's probably not going to be... Man, this thing really drained. Let's just fucking head on out. That's enough. Alright, so... That's SG-1. I want to go to SG-2. And actually, we should turn on pipe, because that's where the other one is. Wait, wow pipe? Oh, that is close. The reason I thought it was further away. You know what? That's what I get for thinking. So, let's go ahead and we can actually get a lot closer to this thing. Now that we have this ship! Now we ain't gonna drown. Whee! Now we gotta just watch out for the quab. Quab snake. Snake quab. The crabs, they look. What is. Huh? What, the... what is that one doing? It's dancing up on us. Its aura radiates a threatening power. Steer clear of that crab snake. It'll fuck you up. Mother of God. Actually, I think we have to head towards it. I think that's where the... fucking place is. Oh, there's another one. They're just... They're just growing. 
Uh, I feel like I'm crazy. We're getting lost. That's also very possible. Fucking fluid intake. These nuts. Got him. I'm wondering if they glitched out and like they think they're inside their home, their jelly home. Not it. Is there anything inside of this? Uh, of course not. Welcome aboard. Man, I there is a reason I don't go diving or caving or anything like that. I am directionally challenged as fuck. I can get lost in a fucking paper bag. Things just look different because I'm in this damn ship. There it is. Or maybe I just missed it because the fucking draw distance. Hey, cut that shit out. All right. Um, thermal plant. That'll be nice if I get to for the volcanic region. Oh wow! Literally a PDA just sitting right there. Are you fucking kidding me? Integrating new PDA data. Oh, I'm so stupid. Oh, okay. Yeah, a water filtration machine. Oh, oh man, I am kicking myself. Your crabry brethren. They yearn for the serpent. Near blueprint acquired. Hey, oh, Neostica. What am I? What else have I missed here? This is embarrassing. What the? Stay out of here, crab. This is my house. Been brutally reminded why you hate Subnautica? Aw. Sorry to hear that. Seek fluid and take I'll seek fluid when I feel like it. Um... All right, I think this time we've explored every tiny inch. Where? What PDA? What PDA? Thurngar? God damn it! Integrating new PDA data. Wait, Bart Torgal 2? Where's Bart Torgal 1? All right, we we were gonna go check out the the uh, camp anyway. We'll do that. Um, where's my ship? There it is. All right. Um, let's get the fuck out of here and get some Wawa. Hey, Vala. Welcome on by. Thank you for the eagle eyes, Durangar. Now we must go up and make a pit stop to refresh ourselves because uh, our diver person is hungry and thirsty. Back from ads? Well, welcome back. Glad you survived the ad salt. They are extremely rude like that. Alright. 
Let's let's give this a little repair. Game, please. Game, please. Please, game. Sometimes, sometimes you make this harder than necessary, game. And I don't know why you do this to me. 